How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. And I think it's safe to say that while Atlas is one of the better developers and publishers in the game right now, once upon a time, Atlas was struggling out here. Um, two of the more malign titles in on the NES were developed by Atlas, Karate Kid and Friday the 13th. And yeah, they weren't great, but Friday the 13th, there was some potential there. Um, the exploration, if they had a better map system, could have worked out a lot better. Karate Kid, I, it just was not a good game. But one thing Atlas Games had in common for a big, you know, for most of their NES run, at least until today's game was released, they mostly did uh, licensed titles. This was the first game that Atlas worked on and published and developed that wasn't a licensed title. This was their first original game. And it's such a fantastic video game that you kind of forget like the aesthetic and everything going on there is so fantastic. You kind of forget it's not actually based on some Saturday morning cartoon. This game is from 1991, and yeah, it's one of the better hidden gems on the NES. Today, we're going to take a look at Rockin' Cats. Now, Rockin' Cats stars a jazz cat, a, a jazz performer named Willie who's known as the Rockin' Cat, hence the name. And Willie's girlfriend has been kidnapped by a cat named Mug, um, a monkey, I'm sorry, named Muggsy. Muggsy kidnapped Willie's girlfriend and now Willie's out here with a punch gun. Yes, a pistol with a, that shoots a fist out to rescue his girlfriend. And the fist gun adds an interesting dynamic to the game because it functions as a grappling hook. There's a platforming element that can be used with it because it can, you know, you can use it to bounce off of thing off of walls, and you can bounce off the ground and get your jumps higher, stuff like that. And it adds an interesting dimension to the platform. It's actually quite inventive. Um, the rest of the gameplay, while it doesn't reinvent the wheel, is pretty solid. Um, it's one of the more interesting platformers on the NES. And yeah, I'm a big fan. Um, it came in 1991, and because of that, not a real plentiful title, so a lot of people missed out on it. And that actually is a crime. I wish this was one of those things where more gamers got their hands on it and got a chance to play it. But I digress. Um, as far as stages and stuff like that, it's a lot of, you know, also rans. There's a level that takes place with Willie on top of a moving airplane. There's a, um, a carnival stage, a downtown street stage, stuff like that. You know, nothing, nothing really new and fantastic. There's also a shop and bonus rounds where you can compete to kind of get extra money to buy things to get extra lives and all that. Um, and you can pick your levels in any order. That's pretty cool. There's also a thing where after you beat the game, right? 
you get to play through another little set of levels. But these are, these strip you of all your power-ups, um, you can't regain any energy, and, you know, there's no energy, there's no extra, no extra energy, no extra lives, so it's like three lives and that's it, no power-ups. It's basically on kill the guy with the punch gun setting. Um... This is a very, very well-made platformer, and I'm saying that it's nothing, nothing particularly, it doesn't feel new. It does feel incredibly fun. So that's a great thing. And you should definitely check it out. Now, if you want a copy of Rockin' Cats, finding an import title, copy, a PAL region top uh, copy, if you have a way to play it, which I recommend if you have like a Retron, they play region free stuff, um, and it won't be weird, get, look for those, because those are about 50 to $60, American NES copies, easily over 100 bucks. It, it's... Yeah, it's a great game, but that price is wild. But it's kind of par for the course with stuff from Atlas. Because everything Atlas made and has made over the years, at some point, except for Persona 5, has been incredibly hard to come by at different stages. Um, so yeah, if you got a way to play this game play it it's a fantastic platformer i can't wrap around over a hundred bucks for a single plat for a single cart but i'm not that kind of collector i play what i play and i will just look for a way to play a title i'm not about to do wild stuff to get a game this has been the a bit animal and i'll catch you beautiful folks next time Tomorrow, yeah, this is the strangest of the black box games, but man, is it fun. <laughs>